Hello learners, welcome to yet another learning video on NX Open Customization and Programming. In this video, I am going to talk about very important guide that you must know. And if you know, you must know how to utilize it better for your learning. I am talking about the guide which is called NX Open Reference Guide, which is made available by Siemens.com for everyone like us who are looking to learn NX Open. This guide is made available for every learner on a, on a website and that website is public. If you don't know about that guide, then I am going to tell you how you can access that guide and not just that but i am also going to tell you about how you can utilize that guide for your better learning experience and how you can have a edge over the the skill set so that you get the complete uh, expertise or i would not say expertise but you will get the confidence of learning this skill and then eventually you will get more and more hands-on and expertise over the period of time in NX Open customization and programming. So let's get started. I am talking about the importance of reference guide. Maybe you already knew this guide. Maybe you don't know this guide. That is perfectly fine. I am going to tell you the details about this guide what this exactly is and how can you benefit from this what happens is when you start learning nx open what you usually follow is that you follow certain learning method you try to follow the standard curriculum that is set by a training program and then you go through that standard curriculum step by step and this is how you learn it in a sequential manner that is good uh, though because you do not need to learn uh, here and there everything is structured you are learning sequentially you are not spending your time on other things which might be a waste of time so everything is structured and then you go through that structured curriculum and you follow that curriculum to learn the skill set and along with that you also learn through the ready-made examples there are examples which are made for learning purpose only you will also find these kind of examples uh, a lot in a, in a, on website there are few websites that uh, do have a lot of examples available for you and those are very good for learning point of view and also you will also get some practice examples uh, there are incomplete examples you will receive or you will receive an assignment to add some lines of code add some functionality into the code and with those examples you will continue your practice and what you will learn along the way you will also learn how to solve the errors maybe you able to solve a uh, few of the errors maybe you are not able to solve them yourself you might you might need the help and you might refer to the uh, online resources or anything uh, of that sort to get the answer to your your errors but this is a typical learning method that you follow now you will you might have a question that whether that nx open reference guide on which i have uh, i am creating this video whether that is really coming into picture here. So whether that NX Open reference guide will come into the picture here or not, that is immaterial for now. But this is what is the exact learning method that you follow. But if into your learning method, the NX Open reference guide is included, then what can, uh, what benefit that you can have that I am going to share with you now what happens after learning let's understand the problem statement first what happens after learning through the standard learning method is that 
when you are done with the curriculum you will not you will but you might struggle with any of these problems while you implement or while you wanted to take uh, while, while you want to continue with the with the with the learning and you wanted to include more and more learning topics into your uh, skill set that time you might face one of these problems what problems you can face after you finish with the curriculum the first i would say is that you might struggle you might struggle to work on the newer problems maybe you have worked on few type of automations let's say in part modeling and then you wanted to continue automating you wanted to automate certain newer tasks yourself and then you might struggle doing that because it was not covered in the uh, curriculum that you have gone through also you will you might struggle finding the apis related to those newer actions that you wanted to add, automate if you don't know yet nx open as a very very rich and extensive library of apis and it is certainly not possible uh, to learn every every api so what makes sense is that you better learn how to learn the newer apis i i will come to that topic later later so this is where you can even struggle finding the new apis which you have not gone through and if you missed on the practice part if you have not done enough practice then you will also struggle in rectifying the errors so this is also can can happen to you and what else you can experience is that you will not able to find the newer apis yourself even if you found, find newer apis somehow you will not able to use them into your program this can be the struggling and this is the painful zone i would say into your learning if you are not able to come out of this challenging zone of this difficult zone then you will not feel confident about your skill set in nx open and this is where you start dragging this is where you start lacking you will not feel that much of confidence developing your own programs if you are if you are looking to get into the uh, newer career using nx open skill set you will not feel enough confidence facing interviews so all of that can happen just after you finish with your training into nx open so these are the challenging points and these challenging points can be very well sorted out with the help of nx open reference guide if you include use of nx open reference guide i would say daily use of nx open reference guide into your learning journey then you will get lot of benefits i would not say uh, 100% of the challenges that you will come across that can be sorted out with nx open reference guide but definitely most of the problems will be sorted out and if you apply or if you also apply your efforts in hands on then definitely you can overcome all the challenges that you can face to get the confidence to get the enough confidence in this skill set so what can any super reference guide help you on your learning journey is that first of all if you are habitual to go through the nx open reference guide then you will able to learn to find and explore newer apis as i said to you that nx open apis library is very extensive it is very rich and it is a huge list of apis are there in short and it is literally impossible to go through all of the apis yourself or through a training program so what makes sense is that you also refer nx open reference guide time to time also know how you can refer that reference guide so that you can try to find out newer apis you can also explore the newer name spaces and then with that name spaces you can get introduced uh, yourself to the newer classes and the properties and methods within that classes nothing but the apis so this nx open reference guide can 
help you to learn the newer apis of course you need to make the habit of list, uh, looking at that reference guide every now and then this is how you are you improve your understanding about that guide and uh, as it is also going to help you understand various namespaces if you know the namespaces uh if you know the various classes available into those namespaces then it becomes easier for you to navigate to the relevant namespace and a relevant class to find out the exact apis that you are looking for and then if you got the enough understanding about the objects in nsopen and also the hierarchical nature of those objects then you can deal with any problem you can find out any api that you are looking for and you will also able to use that api successfully into your program so this is the impact that nx open guide can make into your learning journey if i tell you more about the nx open reference guide it is the guide that is delivered to you by siemens which is free for everyone to use and this guide you can download into your local directory and then you can go through that it is i think 100 mb odd size file it is a dot chm file that you can download into your into your system and then you can start referring to that now last point in this video i am going to share with you how you can locate that reference guide and download it so that you can have have it for your your reference and you can start referring to that during your learning journey you have to be habitual looking at that that journal that file i would say so let's say i will type i will search on nx open i will search on google nx open reference guide if i search on google i get this first page and this is the first page that you can uh, go to in the search results from the search results this one is not uh, this is okay but we won't be able to download anything from here so i would say nx open help file i think that will be much better so you could see i get nx10 programming tools help this is the right place that we are into if you are using newer version of nx that is perfectly fine still you can refer to this guide and uh, don't worry about the version uh, it is still going to be useful for you so once you land on this cement site it clearly states that it is nx10 programming tools help then you can simply go to nx open and then in nx open if you look at this left scroll bar left side uh, menu you will see the open for dotnet if you are learning through either c sharp dotnet or visual basic dotnet that time you can get to uh, this uh, uh, navigation point open for dotnet and then here you will find nx open for dotnet reference guide this dotnet reference guide covers two programming languages visual basic dotnet and c sharp dotnet and once you are here you can simply click on this and your download will start automatically once you have downloaded you just need to go to the properties of that file and you have to select the unblock unblock option you have to select that unblock option and after you select that unblock option you will get the file which is readily available for you to refer on your local directory so this is how you can download the reference guide for dotnet if you are learning through maybe java or python or c c++ then you can refer to these pages so there is a different reference guide available for python that you can take help of 
python guide is not available to download it is something that you can uh, look at on the on the internet uh, itself but dot net guide is available for download and similar to this you do have the guide for java as well as c c++